how's it going everybody? Thanks for tuning in and watching today's video. I have got a piece of gear that I want to share with you. I've been running it now for about a year or so, maybe a little bit more. And it's something that I'm super, super happy with. And I think you might be happy with it too. Just want to go over it and share my thoughts on it now after using it for a little while. What I have is a tent or shelter system by Nemo Equipment. And it is their Bike Pack 2 tent. This is everything that you're about to see in this package. So it is about two hand lengths long. It's made to fit on either the handlebars or I've even seen people use it on the forks of a bicycle. And it is a complete tent system. So inside of this is the tent poles, the stakes, the ground uh, cloth, ground, ground pad, which is actually sold separate from this. And it doesn't actually come in this in the beginning, but it will fit in here. The body of the tent itself, the mesh tent, and the rain fly, as well as the repair kit and the extra tubing if one of the poles breaks. So it's a super low profile package, kind of in a dry bag style uh, bag here. And it's got some uh, retention clips up here that can actually make the profile smaller. And then like a grab handle up here at the top. I've been super happy with this. What got me started on looking for a tent system kind of similar to this was I'd been having problems with my back uh, in the hammock. And I've also learned too that you're not always going to have adequate trees or spacing or if you're with buddies and they're using hammocks, there might not be enough trees around. So I started going back to sleeping on the ground and had been running my marmot tent for a long time, but I just wanted something smaller. I wanted something that would fit into my bag, like in the bottom of it, or on the top of it, like, you know, lash it to the top. And I also wanted something that I knew would work for kayak camping, that could fit into the hatch of my, uh, of my kayak, and just something way more portable and way more doable. And I waited and waited and waited, and I was looking at a couple of other tents, and then when Nemo came out with this, uh, within the first month that it was out, I, I grabbed it and the, the biggest con to it that a lot of you are going to see right off the rip is the price point. It's expensive. I want to say it's in the 500s, um, but I've been through some pretty intense and crazy situations with this so far, uh, weather wise, and it's, it's held up perfect. The, uh, the rain fly has not failed me at all. The tent itself has been staked down and been in some really intense wind uh, in the middle of a field in Georgia. So I feel like now I'm able to give an honest opinion and review of this because I've been using it and sleeping underneath it and, uh, and just put it through some, some good situations. And I just know that it's been worth uh, the bang for the buck that I, I've paid for it. So I wanna get this set up for you and show you kind of what it looks like and go over some of the stuff that I like about it. So the first thing that I do Whenever I go to set this up is I release the straps here on the top that actually kind of help compress a little bit. And then I have, like I said, it is sold separately, but I have the, uh, the ground pad or the, uh, basically the footprint of the tent on the top. And then I'll pull out uh, the stakes or the, uh, sorry, I'll pull out the tent poles and go ahead and set this up. So this is a really cool, uh, way that they have the poles set up. Uh, it's a uh, it's some kind of fancy Poly bag 100k illumination project. It says that 1.2 bottles plastic bottles were used to create this bag But it's just a simple closure like this that opens up and The poles come out. So these are all the poles for it including the ridge pole that goes over the top and Pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. I'll kind of do a time lapse right now, uh, showing me do all this, and then I'll get back to you once I kind of get the tent set up and start going over some of the detail stuff.
so one thing I was really wanting when it came to a tent was I was wanting it to be not only be long enough for me to completely stretch out in, but I wanted it to be tall enough that if I were kayak camping and it's pouring down rain, that I can sit up in my tent and either through the vestibule, like cook food, like, you know, vent it with the stove or even change clothes and whatnot after you get back from being out on the river and being wet. Um, and it just makes it really nice to be able to have that room to be able to sit up and get stuff done in there. And in the same sense, I wanted, I wanted it to be able to be taken down with clips that allowed me to maintain the rain fly on top of the frame and take down the, the mesh body of the tent underneath the rain fly. Um, Cause it's really important, especially if it's raining and whatnot, to be able to remove this without having to take off the poles, get everything wet. So I've had tents before where the rain fly is attached uh, in such a way that you can't take down the tent without taking the mesh and stuff down last. And that's just getting soaked wet whenever it's pouring down rain. So with me being able to, uh, to do that, it makes it really handy because it essentially makes this a freestanding shelter. And if I just wanted to run a rain fly, on top of the frame with no inner lining no mesh lining i can do that and just kind of have like a dome shelter or like tonight when it's going to be really hot and we're not worried about rain i can just run this mesh with no rain fly at all so it kind of gives me two shelters in one so as you can see inside the tent there is a few options to store gear you have a really big gear loft up above you that's at the top of the tent that you can put your socks uh lantern um whatever you need and then on both the right and left sides on the head end you have storage there and then in the corners on the top of the head end are the colored orange panels and that's where you can put a headlamp and shine it down and it helps diffuse the light to where it's not so bright in there something else that i really wanted from previous tents that i, I wanted to continue with this one was i definitely wanted two uh, entrances um because that gives me two vestibules one i can use for entering and exiting the tent and the other one I can put my gear underneath for storage and it really makes it easy again if it's raining or if it's bad weather uh, you know that all your stuff's dry and safe in there and you're able to uh, to keep everything contained or if you have to and it's an emergency you've got a, a separate storage that you can uh, you can pull stuff underneath or uh, heaven forbid uh, you can dig a trench and use the bathroom in from other people that I've heard do that you can also see here that there's these loops on the outside. Uh, these are uh, daisy chains that you can hang stuff from, sandals, uh, socks, whatever. And then there's also a, a hook right here that when you open this door, you can roll it back and use a toggle and, and hold it open that way. So that's a good overlook of this uh, Nemo tent. I'm super happy with it. I guess here at the end, I'll just wrap up with like some pros and cons. So the cons, Obviously, it's the price. I know this isn't going to be for everybody. I'm not trying to sell anybody on it. I was able to save up money. I knew it was something that I could put money back towards instead of, you know, randomly buying whatever or finding something on Amazon. I knew this was exactly something that I wanted, and I'd waited for something similar to this for quite a while. And it just kind of checked all the marks that, you know, that I had for what I wanted in a in a shelter system in a tent. So the cons for sure are the the price point it's it's really expensive at least for me and what i you know what i'd had before and other than that uh it was just a little bit of a learning curve rainfly i never used it here on this trip but the rainfly uh took a little bit of adjustment like what i showed with the uh, grommets and how they pop in to the uh to the ground pad and then the actual body of the tent itself they pop into the uh the end of the tent poles the rain fly actually pops under all that. So you have to kind of lift everything up and put the rain fly grommet underneath all of it. But when you do that, it really tightens everything and secures it down. So that was kind of a, a little bit of a frustration, but I mean, that's really it. The price point's really the only con that I would have for this. Uh, the pros for me are the size of it and the packability. And even now after using it multiple times, different you know circumstances, whether it's bad weather I'm packing up in or or I'm hot or it's cold, 
uh, I'm able to fit all this into that, that bag. So the bag is plenty big enough that you don't have to try to fold it up and make it look exactly what it did when you first bought it. The weight, I probably could find something lighter, but for me, I, I like that it's a two person. Uh, it's a little bit more room. Another pro is the double doors and the double vestibules on it. So that, like I said, I can have storage on one side and then the other side can be my entrance and exit. Huge pro is the height of it and me actually being able to like sit up in it and not hit the top of the tent uh i can change clothes in it and even like wipe down to like clean off and stuff and put on new underwear and whatever i can just be on my knees and put my feet through one at a time and be on my knees and actually change clothes in there so that's a huge pro for me and then all the little features that i didn't know if i necessarily wanted or needed that that gear loft at the top is perfect for your light uh, the pockets on the side, like you put a book or your headlamp, like it's, it's, I'm very happy with it. So I wanted to share this with you. Uh, it was something that I'd been looking for for quite a while in a tent and I found it with this. And like I said, I've put this through crazy intense winds up on literally camping on top of a mountain, a white rock mountain in Arkansas, uh, middle of a field crazy winds there where literally people's tents were like blowing away in the field because they didn't have it staked down i had all the guy lines staked out on the uh the rain fly in the tent and it just held solid and then i haven't had any issues with water i've been in rain in this no leaking all the seam ceiling's really good and and the condensation is really good the way that they have the rain fly uh causes great ventilation to go through there so i wanted to share this with you if it's something you're interested in, check it out. I will have a link in the description below and you can go and check it out. I don't have any affiliations with them. So um, just wanted to share this with you. Again, thanks for watching. And remember, get outside and enjoy the woods.